Hi, Sean Borey here at the North American Phonograph Company, and I'm talking about something that irritates me while making blanks. When you sell blanks, you want them to look like this. You want them to be nice and clean and uh, not have any spots, no noise, just a very nice blank, just smooth as silk. That is the way you want it. Like that one. Like this one. I mean, you want blanks that have that are just nice like that. You want them to look like that. The surface is pure and clean. You don't see any defects in it inside or out. That is how a blank should look that I like to sell to people. But sometimes there are, pro oh, here's another, uh, well, no, this is, <laughs> let me show you another good example of a nice looking surface for a blank and what you want to sell people. So if you notice, all the sides and everything, and there's no defects in that. That's what you want. You want a blank that looks like that. Uh, let's see. Another good example. Let's see what this is. You know, you want surface and ends that look like this. So you want them to be nice and clean. You know, you don't want, I'll turn this all the way around. And you notice that the surface is pretty nice and consistent. Consistency is very, very important when making blanks. Now, the products made today are not exactly the same as they were in the 19th century. So there are times when bad things happen. Uh, this is an example. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. You see those little spots? I call them dendrites. And to me, they're completely unacceptable. When I find this in blanks, my course of action is uh, I have a bag. And I throw these in the bag. After I've used them for some experiments. I throw all these in a bag. And then at some later time... I will melt them down, uh, I'll cook the wax for an hour or more at 450 degrees and uh, let it cool after it smells kind of acrid and smoky. And then I'll let it cool and it'll turn out these really beautiful reddish brown blanks and uh, they won't have this problem. But uh, it is a... It seems, I, I've looked at pictures on the internet, and I'm not going to name any names or anything because that's just wrong, but uh, today there are blanks that are sold that have this defect, and sometimes you'd say, well, there is no choice. Well, yeah, there is. Try it again. If, if first you don't succeed, try, try again. In my camp... These are just not acceptable. See those spots in the blanks that look like snowflakes? These, I call them dendrites, and I hate them. And when they come in a blank, they just make me mad. Now, does it record well? Does it play fine? Yes, it does. But what does it do in the future? I have no idea. I've never seen this defect in a, an original blank ever. And so I'm not sure exactly where it comes from, but it is certainly a source of annoyance for the cylinder blank maker. So I was just want to get that out there, that it's very, very annoying. Because sometimes, you know, I'll spend two or three days making a blank, and uh, to have a defect like that in it is just, it just makes 
He drives me insane. So, uh, I just wanted to put it out there about defects and blanks. So, uh, thank you for your time and have a great day. And I hope you learned something new. As I said, a solution I found for that is basically to throw all those together and weigh them. Before you do that, you weigh them up when you cook it and add 1% stearic acid. And then you do this outside. You put all those together and cook it for until it's a nice dark, dark, dark chocolate brown. And uh, let that cool. Heat it once more. Let it cool again. Then try it. And usually that wax has no dendrites in it. And uh, sometimes it won't be on the surface at all. You'll have to shave all the way down to where you would record on it. Like uh, around 2.180. And you'll know by then. Because it, when blanks have that in them. When you're shaving, my blanks come out of the mold at 2.3 inches in diameter. So as you're shaving down to about 2.220, uh, around there, which is a good uh, place to season. I season them at that, temp, uh, at that diameter. And usually those defects will show up somewhere in that diameter. So you'll know that they're not getting out. And uh, when I first started using these molds, I had a lot of things that I had to learn how to fix. And so that just shows you how difficult this is. And just remember, I've made over 2,000 pounds of cylinders. So uh, the uh, knowledge gained every time I make cylinders is... Uh, there's always something new to learn because uh, don't stop when you get these. I mean, just don't be satisfied when you get the spots and blanks. It's There's no reason to be satisfied. If you get these, meld them down or use them for experiments. I mean, they make great experimental records if you are making the blanks, but don't uh, sell this to anybody.